talking to uh, the Reverend Dr. Alexander uh, Arthur mm -hmm. of Word of Life Christian Center. And of course, Dr. Arthur, we uh, promised that uh, we'd give you an opportunity to uh, talk about uh, some of the steps mm -hmm. in terms of uh, coming to a recognition of mm -hmm. uh, spirituality among mm -hmm. uh, individuals mm -hmm. yeah. and et cetera. And, I, and, and so let's give you an opportunity to start. Yeah, I was now. about to lead on to say that in a, uh, since a plant needs to be in its soil mm -hmm. to remain sustained and thereby thrive, and a fish needs to remain in, 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 in water to thrive and to live, so must man remain in, in, in his soil, uh, in this case, in God, in order for man to thrive. Mm -hmm. The issue is how does man do that? Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, man must recognize that man is a spirit, as mm -hmm. I, I said earlier. Then as a spirit, you have to understand then that the spirit never really dies. Mm -hmm. uh, the existence of the spirit is eternal. Uh, and if that is the case, uh, and, and, and I'm saying that is the case because that's what the Bible says, and I know what the mm -hmm. Bible says, mm -hmm. then the next question becomes, how, what, what do I do? Well, how do I make my existence meaningful and purposeful? Mm -hmm. Because without purpose, life is meaningless. Mm -hmm. And a purpose I uh, define it usually as the, the reason for which anyone exists mm -hmm. or anything exists. Uh, and so if you know your purpose, then you have a reason for your existence. Now, what is the purpose of a spirit? is to remain in the soil of his, of, of his existence, existence, in this case in God. And how do you do that? Well, we had uh, a man that we believe uh, uh, came in a, a God who came in the person of a man, Jesus, mm -hmm. who came and 2,000 years ago made a powerful declaration mm -hmm. and he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, in this mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. uh, to the soil, mm -hmm. except by me. Okay. Obviously, it tells me that there had been a period of separation of man from his soil. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he will not say, no man cometh unto the Father. Because mm -hmm. if you're already there, why go back there? Mm -hmm. right, and so man I must understand that we have been, for some reason, been uh, separated from our soil of existence, in this case, in God, mm -hmm. and therefore we have to find our way back to the, the place. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came to lead us back. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was this, that we accept Christians that in the Garden of Eden, Adam sinned, without sin, the separation occurred. Mm -hmm. So Jesus came to bring us back. Now, when you get back, because you can only, after the awakening, mm -hmm. you can only get to the next level, which is called the level of spiritual growth, mm -hmm. if you accept three things. Number one, mm -hmm. who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. That is, now that Jesus has led you to the Father, mm -hmm. back to the soil, and now you are in an environment where you can thrive, mm -hmm. the question you ask yourself then is that, that you know, who am I in Him? Mm -hmm. Because people don't know who they are. I mean, it's a very sad thing indeed mm -hmm. for people to live without, because you don't know who you are, you can fall for anything what mm -hmm. anyone says to you. Mm -hmm. But if you know that you are in Christ Jesus as a child of the living God because you've accepted Him as your way out, mm -hmm back into the soil of your existence in God, mm -hmm. then of course it makes sense to want to look into mm -hmm. finding out who you are. And mm -hmm. therefore you go to the Bible and everything that the Bible says that you are on the account that you are now in the family of God, mm -hmm. you have to then begin to live it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you go to the next level. The next level is uh, what do you have? You know, okay, I know uh, who I am. Mm -hmm. For example, I know that I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know that I am uh, seated in Christ Jesus in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers, as the Bible mm -hmm. says. Uh, I know that I am the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, and that I'm blessed going out and I'm blessed coming in. Those are the things that you know that you have mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus because you, that's what you are. Mm -hmm. You are a success, not a failure. As a child of God, you are a success, not a failure. You are the healed, not a sick. You are prosperous, not poor. Mm -hmm. That is what you have to know. Now, the next thing is that you have to find out what you have. Mm. Now that you know who you are, what do you have? Mm. You, the authority and the power that God has given to you through uh, Jesus in His name, you have that authority. You have to exercise the authority. It's one thing to know that yeah. you have authority. Mm. The next thing is to be able to exercise it. Mm -hmm. And I think the sad thing is that that issue doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And people that they don't know who they are, therefore they don't even know what they have mm -hmm. in order to be able to exercise that authority. Mm -hmm. And so we teach people to recognize, well, not, a, not only must you know that you are a Christian, Mm -hmm. And you have certain benefits and privileges and rights because you are a Christian. I recall when I became an American citizen, mm -hmm. I became a citizen of this nation with constitutional privileges and rights mm -hmm. that granted me the same privileges as any native-born American 
mm -hmm. uh, citizen will have. Mm -hmm. Now, I must then, now that I know that I'm a citizen, mm -hmm. uh, and therefore an American, I must now know what I have. Mm -hmm. You know, I have the right to vote. Mm -hmm. I have the right of freedom of assembly. I have all those. But if you don't learn those rights that you have, and therefore don't exercise it, mm -hmm. you will live beneath your privileges. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is that that is happening all the time mm -hmm. in the body of Christ, especially Christians mm -hmm. who have been born again, baptized in, in, in Christ Jesus, and they're going mm -hmm. on, and they don't know what they have. Mm -hmm. And because nobody is telling them that information, and it makes them therefore weak mm -hmm. when they meet other challenges in life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the, the, the third part is that now that you know what you have, authority and mm -hmm. power in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. then the next thing is that you have to exercise it. Mm -hmm. You got to do it. So now, not only must I know who I am in Christ, not only must I know what I have in Christ, I must also know what to do in Christ. Mm -hmm. you know, what can I do? And I can cast out demons, and mm -hmm. I know sometimes it's kind of spooky to some people, mm -hmm. but you can do that in Christ Jesus. In his mm -hmm. name, you can do that. Uh, you can lay hands on the sick for them to recover, because you can do that. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and spread the gospel. Jesus, go you all into the world. So you can do that. And so that is the other aspect of it. Now, these are the things that help you to grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. And so you are awakened, really. Mm -hmm. It's a setup so you can grow mm -hmm. spiritually and mature in the world. Mm -hmm. And so there are uh, basically three steps, three steps. That, that, that you believe to be uh, uh, important critical. in terms yeah. of uh, recognizing uh, who you are exactly. and your spiritual awakening. Exactly. And you believe that if uh, individuals were to follow these steps, to yes. claim their authority, to yes. know who they are, yes. to claim their authority, and, and most important, to start exercising that authority, yes. you think that uh, it, they can, they, it can make a, a great difference in their lives. Exactly. We've yes. got about a, a, a minute before our break. Okay. Uh, give mm -hmm. us some examples of some lives you've seen change. Well, well, well yeah. let's start with myself. I mean, I, I was somebody that was uh, in, in, in the language of, uh, of the church, a heathen. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born again, wasn't saved. I was uh, intellectual, educated, mm -hmm. uh, probably one of the finest universities in this country, mm -hmm. had access to the kinds of, uh, of things that perhaps somebody might say that I was a boppy, you mm -hmm. know, uh, at a time when boppy or yuppie was uh, the mm -hmm. popular terms that people were using. But none of those things brought me to the place of satisfaction and peace mm -hmm. uh, in Christ because I had no purpose. I didn't know that I was the spirit until gradually when I got saved, I learned all this, and so we'll cover more about mm -hmm. that as we go. But basically, mm -hmm. that is the key to, the, to recognizing that uh, if I look at myself mm -hmm. and what God has done in me through Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. I know uh, anybody else can make it. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. And of course, let us take this uh, second commercial break, mm -hmm. uh, Reverend uh, Arthur. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Mm -hmm. The uh, topic is...